If you know anything about Haruhi and have only spent a healthy amount of time online, you know it for one of two things. The anonymous proof of calculating the lower bound of super permutations in greater than or equal to 2, and the endless 8. While the first one is a lot of complex math that only gets attention as a quirky internet fact, the Endless 8 is the one everyone loves to talk about. First airing a little over 15 years ago, the Endless 8 is the longest arc in the entirety of the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya's anime. While the titular arc was only 6 episodes long and most only being one, the Endless 8 is, in fact, 8 episodes long. Six of these episodes have an almost identical script, with all shots reanimated and all voices re-recorded for every dub. People really like postmodern and subversive stuff until it shows you 3.3 hours of the same time loop to really drive the point home. It's incredible. By time of writing, I'm about to start my 8th rewatch and I have never skipped an episode. It's a test of endurance and mental fortitude that no one has dared try to replicate since. But this begs the question, how long would it take watching Endless 8 to get the full loop? To start, how many loops even are there? That's easy, just look at the light novels and you'll see it's only 15,498, which is the number given in the anime's second episode. In the anime, to make fun of light novel readers, they bump the number up to 15,532 loops. For the sake of this video, we want an absolute minimum watch time, so it'll be the much more reasonable 15,498. With every episode being the exact same length, except the 8th one, we can easily calculate the wrong number. Remember the conversation that happens from episode 2 onward? Nagato mentions some very interesting modifiers. By the end, there are two loops without a Bond Festival, 437 without goldfish scooping, 6504 without part-time jobs, and 360 with multiple instances of part-time work. On top of this, the first 8768 loops did not include any instances of deja vu, meaning these must be the first episode, lacking the nighttime conversation, with one of these lacking a Bond Festival. Now it's time to make some assumptions. First is that every episode after the first 8768, except for the 8th, is watched in any order. This allows us to abuse the exceptions to maximize what can be cut and what is added, as each episode has slightly different lengths for each activity. It wasn't just the animation and voiceover, the timings aren't even consistent. Episode 1, since it lacks the nightly conversation and mental anguish at the cafe, takes the longest out of each episode for each event. So if we can remove something, it will be in the first 8768 loops. However, for the ones we add, the shortest part-time section is in episode 3 at 45 seconds long. For additional clarity, I'll be using the light novel version of the arc to determine any exceptions. Both the sub and dub in the anime aren't clear enough. For example, the ones lacking a Bond Festival are not included in the ones which lack goldfish scooping, making the total number without goldfish scooping 439. The downside to this is that the anime cuts off the explanation for overlapping part-time jobs, but not saying something doesn't mean it doesn't happen. For the actual math, each episode, aside from 8, is 1324 seconds long, removing the intro and outro. One of two loops without a Bond Festival is in the first episode, which takes out 145 seconds by itself. We can also subtract one of the part-time jobs here for another 81 second reduction. We can subtract both the part-time work and goldfish scooping from these first episode loops as well, giving us another 437 episodes with 114 seconds removed each. The remaining loops without part-time are then added, being 6,066 episodes with 83 seconds removed. Then, we only have to watch the full episode 1 2,264 times. Finally, we can start watching the next six episodes of Endless 8. Immediately removing the Bond Festival, Episode 2's clocks end at 116 seconds, making it the second longest. However, Episode 2 doesn't have anything else we can remove, so this is the only time it'll be useful. Now time for more assumptions. For multiple part-time work loops, we'll assume it's the exact same runtime as the episode's part-time work scene. Also, the use of multiple means more than one, so we'll be assuming two for the lowest bound. The shortest one by far is episode three's at 45 seconds, a whole seven seconds faster than the competition. This means we need to add 45 seconds for 360 loops. At this point, we're done with modifiers at 9,129 loops, meaning we can watch our choice of episodes 2 through 7 for the next 6,368 loops. The final loop, episode 8, clocks in at a special 1,390 seconds as it lacks the end credits. The final function looks like this. Our first loop, 437 without goldfish or part-time work, 6,066 without part-time, our final 2,264 of episode 1, the second one without a bond festival, 360 with multiple part-time, 6,368 normal loops, and our finale for a grand total of 19,994,112 seconds, or 231.4 days long. Keep in mind, over half a year is the bare minimum if you wanted an episode for every loop.